back here at Benissimo Cheese Shop in San Diego with Gina Fries, and she's going to introduce a lovely Italian blue cheese for us to taste in a moment. As well, she's going to give you some insight into some of the fabulous educational sessions she has here in both cheese making, cheese education, and pairing wine and cheese. So let's go over and taste that Italian. Gina, before we get to this wonderful Italian blue cheese, tell people a little bit about what you have to offer here in terms of cheese education, cheese making, and so forth. Oh, everyone had been asking for years, um, can I learn, where can I learn about cheese? How can I learn about cheese? So we thought, let's build an Academy of Cheese, AOC, which is the French term for all things good. So if you build um, it, they will come? Is that if they, they, if we build it, they will come, and they've okay. been coming, and it's okay. been really great. We have classes in cheese making. We make mozzarella and ricotta. Once you've made ricotta yourselves, you'll never buy it again. Um, delicious. We'll do beer and cheese, whiskey and cheese, uh, cheese 101. That's our most popular class, getting to know cheese. Or I think we taste hmm, maybe about 12 to 15 cheeses as part of the course. And then, of course, you can taste absolutely anything in the shop. That's what we do here is if you come in, taste absolutely anything and buy as much or as little as you like. Oh, it's kind of very fun. Wonderful. So that's been the academy. and it's just growing and growing and we look forward to many classes to come. So and if you're ever in San Diego, come to a class. And, and you also have some, some wine and cheese pairing sessions where you liaison with one of the, the wine shop owners we locally, do. is that right? Yeah, because um, to know all about wines, that's, that's an expertise. And so um, we pair up with a local wine shop and we hold it in their cellar and it's a fabulous experience. Oh, that's Yeah, wonderful. to learn how they go together. Sounds wonderful. Well, speaking of wine and cheese pairing, Here's a bottle of Chianti. Here's a, here's a, a slice of, uh, of the Italian blue cheese. Tell yeah. us a bit about the cheese. This is an amazing cheese. So Italy was really where buffalo milk cheeses come from. Buffalo mozzarella comes from there, and most of the buffalo milk cheeses in the world come from Italy. This one's called Blue di Bufala, and look at the rind on that. Natural rind. It's a blue cheese, so it's got the blue molds in it. In cheese, mold is good. Um, and it's made of buffalo milk. So we just really love it. I think this is one of those, you know, Italy's all about food-friendly wines, sure. you know, that kind of thing. And a Chianti, something like that, Sangiovese, is going to be great with this blue di buffalo. Now, do you know, how does this differ in texture, say, a buffalo, uh, buffalo milk cheese, say, from, from a cow's or a sheep or, or some other? Buffalo is a lot like sheep. Super rich in heavy in creams, super nutritious. Very rich, then. Very rich. Okay. It's, it's really the fattiest of all of them but it's the um, least accessible. I don't know if you want to go milk a water buffalo, but I think it'd be a little frightening. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's a little harder to come by, but it's really high in quality milk. Okay, so, so in other words, if, if you're looking for richness, you, you put the diet aside and you enjoy this. Yeah, diet, try it. What, what did I read Julia the child say? <laughs> the only time to diet is the, well, you're waiting for the steak to cook. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice. well, let's do some, let's do some tasting, tasting. And, and see what this is like. You got it, blue di bufala. Just grab it right Thank off you. there. And, and this rind is, is edible? Edible. Okay. When you see it, it kind of looks like a, a tree bark or something, right? It's just natural. It's just dried up on the outside. Don't be scared of that. Are there, some rinds, are there some rinds that you won't eat? Wax and foil. Well, that makes sense. I would like to hold. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Give it a taste. What do you mm. think? You'll get a little blue. It's not an intense, you know, no. pow in your face blue. It's a more pleasant blue. And then you'll just get that richness of that. I was going to say, milk. there is very definitely that a real mm. rich creaminess to this. Super creamy. And and it's purely from the bubble. If you're looking for a blue cheese that's not only strong, lots of creaminess, this is just, this This is your cheese versus some of the much stronger. Well, what, what are some of the, what the other blue cheeses that would be quite a bit stronger than this? I would say two of the strongest blue cheeses in the world, Roquefort, mm -hmm. most people are familiar with. That's the biggest of the um, three musketeers of blue, Gorgonzola, Stilton, and Roquefort. But then I think the most powerful blue in the world is Cabrales from Spain. If you ever get a chance to taste the real deal, it's the one that's designated as Cabrales. This much will just, I think you might fall over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's really good All if you're right. a blue fan. All right, well, th th this is wonderful. Th this is a cheese you definitely have to try. You will fall in love with this one. Let's try some more. Absolutely. Absolutely.